Hi everybody and welcome welcome to our Monday the 9th of August roller prompt and these are the prompts that I rolled yesterday in the big red book uh, and they are a tag, blue, cardstock, die cut, buttons and a character. Well when I thought of blue and a character there was one that immediately sprung to mind and the little fella that sprung to mind was this little fella, <laughs> Peter Rabbit. <coughs> Excuse me, he's just gorgeous and he wears a blue coat and I just love him, he's lovely. So we need to make a tag that somehow we've got that on and a die cut and buttons and everything else. So let's, I, I really haven't thought this one through too well. Um, I have an idea. I have a bit of an idea. That edge there's well wonky, so I'll stay away from that. And I think there's a mark on the back as well. Yeah, there. Um, so how wide shall I make my tags? Um, I want them to be fairly wide. About that wide. See what he looks like on there. Hmm. Maybe a little touch more. I'll cut it there. Right, so I've done it. I've cut it. Um, and I need to make it into a into a tag shape. That's what I need to do. Um, how long do I want it? I want it to fit into a journal, so I don't want any ridiculous proportions. I mean, that's eight and a quarter. That's, just, <laughs> that's too much. Um, but how about seven? Seven would be all right, I think. Let's just make a mark at seven and then chop that off. There we go. Right, so I have the makings of a tag and it measures, let me tell you. Uh, three and three quarters by seven. Three and three quarters by seven. And it's a really nice blue, this. Um, but I'm going to use that as my base because I've got a paper that I want to put over it. In fact, I've got two papers. Yeah, no. I'm going to use this one as the base. Look at that. How cute is that? Look at it. It's gorgeous. Um, and I want to leave a little border all the way around so I'm going to have to mark the height because my little uh, Timmy cutter Timmy trimmer should I say doesn't do more than six inches so I'm going to have to mark this oh, I need to I need to cut my tabs off first no let's just mark it come on girl honestly what is wrong with you I don't know Right, so I'm going to cut that there. Can I see the mark? Yeah, there it is. That's right on the line, I think. Okay, that's a really good remnant. I'm not throwing that away. And we said that it was three and three quarters, so we want it about a quarter of an inch less, say. So let's make it three and a half. And trim that off. Oh, sorry, Peter, I've cut your hands off. That'll save him getting into trouble. So let's just see if this is right all the way around. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine, I think. I think that's okay. I don't really want to ink this. It's it's very nice, bright, sort of nursery colours, really. And I don't really want to ink it, so I'm not. I'm not going to. So let me just trim off the corners of this before I stick it down. See if I can find... I've got this one. This is quite large corners. But it's quite a large tag, so yeah, let's go with that then. some scissors I'm 
And the other side. Yeah, that looks a fine size tag. Um, and then the same, which one did I use? That one on the uh, part we're going to stick onto it. The, the mount, if you like, for want of a better word. Mat. That's what I mean. Mat, not mount. Don't know where mount came from. <laughs> no idea. I did finish my little um, envelope thing yesterday. Um, and I'll show you it at the end, actually. I'll put it in the box, but I'll get it out and show you at the end. So, right, that's going to go there. That's lovely. It's perfect. What's wrong with that? Nothing. So, all I need to do is stick it down. I'm just... I was going to say, I'm just going to use Collal. I'll put the Collal in the drawer, so I'm actually going to use our glitter glue. You use what you're happy using. As Tim is very fond of saying, you do you. And I think that's a really good saying. You know, I'll give you ideas, etc. But take them, change them, make them yours. You do you. There's quite a lot of stuff on this, on the prompt list today. You know, die cuts, buttons, character. It's a lot. So I hope I can find a way to integrate them all. A little bit further that way, please. Thank you. Oh, that's not right either. dries so quickly this out glitter glue that you've got to be on its case. Let's get the top sorted, that might be the way to go. Yeah, I think that's right. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. Lovely. Right. Oh. So, for the next thing, because that is ostensibly a tag with a character on it, it's blue. <laughs> <laughs> but we're not going to stop there. We are going to make a little pocket on this tag. I like things to do double duty if, the, if I can. So this tag can have a pocket on it. Now I printed this out. All these Peter Rabbit things and this and associated papers I got from a, a CD-ROM. It's a Joanna Sheen one. Um, and I've got quite a few. I've got the Peter Rabbit um, Jemima Puddle Duck, all those ones and I've endeavoured to get the stamps to go with them so I can at some stage make a journal so keep your eyes alert for that one <laughs> which hopefully will come at some stage let's just see what Peter Rabbit measures he measures um, a little over two inches and about four and a quarter okay a little over two inches but I want to put I want to put um, a gusset on it so if he's a little over two I'd quite like it to be about three but would that fit on there yeah what did I say he measured come on this is ridiculous he measures three and a, no four and a quarter he's quite tall isn't he four and a quarter right so i'm going to cut this off at four and a quarter plus a quarter height plus a half to fold up so four and a quarter four and a half five i'm going to cut it off at five inches <laughs> did you hear my brain thinking my goodness that was hard work right lovely so then I'd like it to be pretty much as wide as I can get it really that's just light of three and a half 
So if I said three, I want to cut it at four and then I'll have two lugs to turn in. It's all making sense to me. It's not to you, obviously, because I'm speaking some silly language, but it will become apparent, fear not. Right, so this is going to be our pocket. Now then, I just want to get the scoreboard out quickly. You use whatever method you have to score. Let's put that back in the box or it'll get lost. Um, so this is the long way, so I'm taking two half inch score lines down each. Two half inch. I'm scoring half an inch at either side, honestly. Get your teeth in. And half an inch on the other side. I find it just easier to turn it round, actually. It's easier holding things into the corner like that. And then half an inch at the bottom. This isn't directional, so it doesn't really matter which way I do it. Okay. Lovely. Right, now I just need to check that Peter Rabbit's going to fit into that size. Oh, yes. What were you worried about? I do not know. So, with these, you just cut into the corner and then cut, cut out again at an angle. Cut into the corner, out again at an angle. And they're just little waste pieces. And then you just fold it over. Oh, before that, actually, it's a good idea if on the top you just make a little triangle. Like that. Just so when it's folded over, you don't see that other bit of paper. Which sometimes can look a bit unprofessional. <laughs> oh, I'm laughing because I'm doing a video that's anything but professional. Well, Kitty Cat's doing well colour of his eyes is changing slightly. He's gone from having bright blue eyes and they're just beginning to get a hint of green in. So I'm thinking he's just beginning to grow up a little bit. So there we have it. There's a pocket just like that. Easily peasily. Um, Peter's going to get put on there and I think he shows up well enough like that. don't think we need to put anything behind him. Oh, I'm just going to have a drink. Hang on. Mm. Orange pop. We're nearly out of it. As soon as this is over, we've got to go out and get some more orange pop because just just won't do if you haven't got any. Right, so what's going to happen is this pocket's going to go on here. Like that. Um, and I did bring some ribbon over. Uh, lace, I should say. Because I thought I might like a piece at the bottom of the pocket. Actually, looking at it, I might like it all the way across. Yeah. I think the thing to do is stick Peter onto the pocket. <laughs> I'm just prevaricating here. So this doesn't count as a die cut because I fussy cut it. So you have to wait for the die cut. Actually, even talking about this uh, Beatrix Potter uh, journal makes me want to just crack on and get it done. But I haven't got time. I've got some commissions to do. I'm doing the roller prompt every day. And um, soon it will be September when we'll be doing Mr. Green. So I won't have time to do a journal then. So it's just going to have to wait. So there's Peter on. That's my character. Now then, I want that on quite, quite near the bottom, but not at the bottom. So about there. So let's stick the pocket on. Oh, 
I'm using my ordinary uh, pin that came with the <laughs> with this glue um, because I was saving my purple one that I got from Kay for the weekends. I'm saving it for the lives. I don't think anything's going to happen to it, but I like I like the idea of saving it. So I'm just using my ordinary green headed pin at the moment. There we go. Right, let's stick this on. Try and get it straight, even, level. Is that any of those? Not really. That's not bad. Stick that down. Pop the plain headed pin. See, so it's just a green, green headed pin that came with the thing. <laughs> I just don't want to. I don't want to wear out my purple pin, so I'm thinking I'm going to put that on the bottom. I think it. I think it's quite nice with that on. Um, see if I can get the pattern. Yeah, that's fine. I'm just. I'm going to use this art glitter glue because honestly, I used it the other day for lace, and it was absolutely perfect. So I'm just going to use it, and I'm just coming over the bottom of the of the pocket there all the way down to the bottom yeah kitty cat he's doing well we still don't have a name for him <laughs> he's referred to generally as little un, um, but he's gonna grow up hopefully so I'm just trying to get that pattern balanced so it's the same either end. It just looks a bit better. So that's that there. Let's get my Timmy towel and give that a good push down. And it does pick up a sort of surplus glue in the in the lace as well. It doesn't pick it all up, but it picks up some of it, which is good. There we go. So I'll just trim that off. Oh, the ducks next door, they've got ducklings again. And uh, I keep getting into our garden. And I don't mind them in the garden, it's just, you know, we've got Bobby. Not that he does anything to them, but I just worry that he one day he might. Think the toys or something and start playing with them. Right, so that's that. We've got our little bit of lace on. Uh, I've also got to use some buttons um, and I did lay out this button box because this is the only button box I've got with very small blue buttons and this is the smallest I've got. I could actually put it at the top when I tie the... yeah I might do that actually. Although I quite like it there. They're quite big even for small buttons aren't they? Yeah, um, there's that. Some little white ones. I don't know where they came from. They're, they're different. They feel different. Really? That one. Yeah. I don't know. The, the, I don't know. Anyway, that's the situation with regards to the buttons. I won't stick them on just yet. Uh, right. The other thing, by way of die cut, I've made some flowers. I just couldn't think of another die cut to put on there. Uh, I made it using those uh, inky backgrounds that I showed you how to make on Saturday. And I thought they might go just down here. Yeah, I think so. Um, just as a point of, of interest, these Prima flowers I bought uh, to go with a specific a paper pad I had and they were seven pounds I don't know how many dollars that is about eleven dollars twelve dollars something like that and you know they're lovely they're prima they're beautiful but they're so expensive really so that was what spurred me on to buy this die and uh, make my own flowers because they're pretty they're, they really are pretty 
So I've got all of these made. I have got some leaves, but I don't think I'll put the leaves on because we haven't got any other green, have we? Let's bring these over, have a look and see. Yeah, there might be a bit, a bit on the, I don't know, you know, it breaks that up really quite nicely, doesn't it? Oh, decisions, glory, there's so many decisions to be made. Right, I'm just going to have one large one and then I've got a, a selection of smaller ones. I think that one's smaller than that one. Yeah, I quite like that actually. It's quite nice. Let's have a look and see if we need some lee leafage on there. I mean, that's just a tiny little leaf and it looks quite nice. I quite like it. Um, maybe that medium sized one there with that one on it. Yeah, looking all right. I don't really want to cover Peter up if I can help it. So I've got two large and two very dinky leaves left. So I could put those there, just like that. I think that's what I'll do. Okay, let's see if we can remember. I'll move them over there so as they look the same as when I had them <laughs> on the thingy. Oh, that's got a glue string on it. Uh, right, art glitter. Can't remember how far up this was, but we'll go there. Can't be far away. Uh, this one. About there, I think. I'm guessing at this stage, to be honest. <laughs> Just guessing. I didn't think I was going to use these leaves. They were just sort of sitting there on the desk. Mm. I don't know which side to use. And that goes there. Right. So the big one goes in the corner, that much I do know. Let's put a healthy blob of glue on. Pop that onto there. Uh, then this one came along this way. If I'm correct, I think I am. Mind you, I always think I am, so nothing new there. I've just put little gems in the centre of these little flowers. Just stick on gems. Curl that up a bit, it's got a bit flat. Uh, and this tiny little one. That I'm just going to pop up there. So there we are, that's our flowers in. Don't they look pretty? Let me just wipe the nozzle of that before I put the pin in because otherwise it just gets monkey. Okay, so I'm left with one flower. Look at that. That's a really pretty one as well. Oh, I can't help myself playing with these. It's so gorgeous. Anyway, stop that. Proceed. <laughs> Proceed. So shall I stick those buttons down there? Or shall I? I'll leave them until I put the lace in the top and then see what's what. So we've got this pocket here and I've got a sheet of coffee stained paper. We've put gussets on the pocket so as it will accommodate something. If we hadn't put the gussets on it would be flat and you really wouldn't get very much in there at all. So I've left it with the gussets so we can actually add some coffee stained paper. 
so let's see what width we need need it to about there well I've got three pieces in I might let's see if I can third this that's about it there I think let's see if that would fit in our pocket oh I think it's just a touch too big just a touch so I'll just I'll cut a little bit off that yeah just for a moment there just for a moment I forgot what I was doing <laughs> not for the first time I hear you say so yeah I'm gonna cut about half an inch off see where we get to with that might be enough it might not it's just ordinary copy of paper that I've coffee stained I think that's my demister gone made a bid for freedom right let's see if we can third this up then see if that will fit in the pocket yeah I believe it will yeah okay so let's fold those creases in then so like that this one comes over here like that okay maybe not the straightest creases in the world but I think they're adequate for a purpose so I can have it about that tall so let's fold it over there And just chop this bottom bit off so it's just a bit too tall those creases aren't exactly lining up but there we go that's okay right let's try this in see if it fits I really rather hope it does There we go. Is that a bit tall? I think that might be a bit tall. Is it, let me just check that um, the pocket's completely open because sometimes it gets a little bit glued and it sticks, but it feels like it's completely open to me. Yeah, so I think that's just gonna be a fraction too tall so she trying it again hopefully yeah I want it to come to about there so I'm gonna just chop a bit off off the bottom let's get that lined up that might still be a little bit too tall so I'm making this one two three four and a half inches and I think then we'll be fine lovely let's see see what happens this time oh that's perfect perfect so we've tucked into there into one tag a real load of journaling that's fabulous so I've still got the problems with the buttons I quite like them down there maybe down here even I think they look okay um, but let's deal with the topper what we're going to put on the top um, let's get my oh just have to move my bin again and me okay so I want the hole to be in the middle um, which is this is make a mark it's just there so I'm going to make my hole find a eyelet that 
will do the job. Yeah, there's like blue ones in there. Fantastic. They're a bit grey blue actually. Let me see if I've got any more bluey blue ones. They're a bit too turquoisey blue. Mm, that's pinks and greens. Ah, I've got metal ones. I've got lavender, rose colour, turquoise. Oh my life, I've got everything. Oh, hang on. Got wide blue ones, they're nice, aren't they? Greens. Green. Yeah, I'll we'll use one of these wide ones. <coughs> I don't know that I've ever actually used them before. Put those to one side. But I guess you just set them the same as the other ones. I guess so, we're about to find out, aren't we? Yeah, I think that looks nice. Looks like somebody loved it enough to put a nice wide eyelet in. <sighs> Needs a bit more pressure. I don't know if I have any more pressure. Still, it's not. Maybe I need to alter the thing on the bottom. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know which one. Let's try that one. Let's try that one for a laugh. See what happens. <laughs> yeah, that's got it. And nearly me. need to go for a lie down in a darkened room right <coughs> with regards to the ribbon let's have a look and see I've, I've got the lace that I used already somewhere yeah somewhere it is and that's exactly where it is somewhere oh yeah here so I could just pop a bit of that in the top and actually that would look quite nice I think that would look quite nice um, or I've probably got some white somewhere. I've got this that Keong sent me. It's it's too nice to use. No, that's not getting used. Let's have a look and see what ribbons are here. I do really seriously need to sort this ribbon drawer out. <laughs> it's it's bursting. It's banks. Um, got green gingham. Shame that wasn't in blue, isn't it? That would have looked really nice. But I haven't got it, so it's no point. Oh, I've got a whole reel of green. Um, I don't know what I've got here. That's blue. I think I've nicked them all for when I was making the blue journal. Yeah, possibly that is the case. Um, that is a really gorgeous light blue. Could you have a look, please, if you don't mind, in the, um, the drawer that's got all the blue stuff in. See if there's any ribbon. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Anything else? I'm just going to pause you for a second while I go and have a look. Okay, I've had a good mooch around um, and I've found this, which is very narrow blue gingham, but it is blue gingham and it does go with that and I like it. So I'm going to tie my knot in that. Uh, I've also found this, which is fine. Can't find the end of it. It's one of these endless ribbons. So I'm just going to make a cut in it. And I'm going to put two lots of this through so I'm just going to cut it off. I can um, finish the ends off later. So I'll just cut that out, push them through, hopefully. Like that. That's great. 
So we'll just get them something like even. We'll have to tidy them up later on, but that's okay. And then I'm going to use this fine blue gingham uh, to tie the bow. Let me just get one of Jean's hands out. Because they're brilliant for holding down the ends while you're tying a ribbon. That's great. Or tying a bow, I should say. Right, I'm sure that's enough there. Come on. So, let's tie our bow. Lovely. I was pleased to find this blue gingham ribbon. It's just a job. There we are. Very nice. So, don't think we need these ends quite this long. So I'm just going to cut them about there. About there. Oops. Cut all the way through. And these we just need to cut off at angles just to prevent them from unravelling too much. If you're very worried about them unravelling, um, pass them over a flame. That works a treat. I do do that quite a lot. But I know it worries you when you see me do it, so I won't do it. <laughs> right, so the only thing we've got left is the button. Now, I can't really get away with putting a button there because I've put the wide uh, eyelet in. So I am going to have to put them down here. And that's fine. That, that'll be okay. I'm just going to use these 6,000. The um, art glitter glue does work, but um, I'm going to use this because it's perhaps a bit more forgiving in case I get them in the right place. I'm not putting ribbon uh, thread or anything through these. I'm just sticking them on as they are. Pop that one there. And uh, E6000 does not grab instantly, it really doesn't. It takes its own sweet time in drying, but it's very good when it is dry. Maybe about there. Perhaps. I must say I do like those die-cut flowers from uh, Sizzix. Yeah. Um, the tattered, small tattered florals. I think the big tattered florals would be phenomenal, but they're a phenomenal price. Let's have a look at those. No, that needs to be up a bit. Yeah, about there. Oh, doesn't want to stick now. Okay, let's take you off and wipe up this mess you've made. Let's put the lid back on that because it's just going to keep dripping out. It's like a glue gun. It, you know, if you leave the lid off, it just keeps dripping out and out and out. Right, let's get this stuck on. So that's kind of one, two, one, two, so it's about there, I think. No, that's too far up. I think that's right there. I think that's about right. Let's see if we can get some of this glue off while it's wet. Okay, what does that look like? Do they look even? No, not, not so much really. I think that's okay. I'm happy with that. It's a shame moving it. It's just a bit too far over. Okay. Well, I think we've finished. I'm not putting journaling or anything on the other side because you can easily write on that. So let's just check the prompt list. If I can find a prompt list. 
Let's cover that. Here it is. Tag. Yes, we made a tag. Blue, quite definitely. Cardstock. Yes, the blue card is cardstock. Die cut, the floral element. Buttons. Yep. And the character, quite definitely. Mr. Peter Rabbit. So there we are. We'll leave those there. I'll just, I just wanted to show you. Thanks, Mr. Ruff. The, um, I hope you like that. I quite like that, actually. If you're doing a Peter Rabbit journal, that would be, that would be great. And you've got all this additional journaling in there. Ha uh ha. -huh. Space for a carrot. Space for a carrot, Mr. Ruff says. <laughs> yeah. So this is yesterday's that we did in the YouTube live. Um, it's a great idea, Ros, to put the flower soft on there. Uh, it would be much better had I not already had the stupid brad in. But I had to use the brad because it was one of my prompts. So this is how it finished up. And if you remember, just as I was putting the butterfly on the front, Kerry said, oh, yes, I forgot it was nature. And I thought, yeah, that's right, you know, nature. So far, I've only got florals. So I went back through it and I added a butterfly to each page. Each page has um, got its fussy cut and a, a label and a butterfly. So there we are. Right through to the back. And in each one, I've added uh, a journaling card. They're all pretty similar. You know, they're all... The, uh, collage but I've just added a little bit of lace there just so you can see it down the side because I think that looks quite nice so there are the three <laughs> journaling cards they're all blank on the back so there is a bit of space to journal but what a nice thing you know I think it it came out really well actually considering it's just it's just it it started off as three pieces of paper that's what it was that we made into envelopes but you could as i said yesterday you could just use any commercially made envelopes they don't have to be ones you've made yourself i just like to set myself even bigger challenges than i need to so yeah you know just use three envelopes and follow the procedure and all will be right but i think that's a, a lovely thing i think you could send that as happy mail or uh, a rack or it probably would actually fit into your journal. It's not that fat. So you'd probably get that as an element in a journal, I would have thought. Oh, and I went over the flowers with, um, it's not pearly wink, it's something like that. So they do have a bit of a sheen to them. So there we go, that's today's. This is yesterday's. Slightly different styles. <laughs> <laughs> so now we need to know what tomorrow's is. So let's get the big red book out. Still with no bookmark, honestly. It is definitely a situation of the cobbler's kids. I've got so many bookmarks, don't quite know what to do with them all. And yet I need one in here and I'm not using one. I mean, how silly is that? Right, there we go. So let me get my die. Here we go. And a pen. Timmy Trimmer, I don't know what you're doing there. You live under the table. Right, so it's uh, 9th of August today. How's that happened? Second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth. I don't know how that's happened. This was yesterday's, wasn't it? Oh, no, I haven't written yesterday's in. <coughs> <coughs> no, I didn't I didn't write these in. Huh, how we miss. That was a tag. It was blue. It was cardstock, which is number four. One, two, three, four. It was a die cut. One, two, three, four. Uh buttons, number two, and character number six. I mustn't have written them in when I uh, rolled it. However, that's easily rectified. It is the 10th of August. Roll the prompt. Okay, let's see what we get today. Have we got any that we need to cross off? 
Have we done any three times? Uh, no, I think they're all crossed off. Oh, that one we have. Character. We've done three characters. I don't remember that, actually, but we have. So, cross character off. Right. And I can't, if I had it yesterday, I can't have it today. That's the rule. Nothing twice in a row. Okay, what am I making? Oh, that went off the thing, but it's a six, which is a tummy tuck so let's mark that in tummy tuck and the colour it can't be blue and it can't be green two it's yellow yellow uh, and the paper six music paper mm. okay and did i write that in no i did not uh and the focal point is doo -doo -doo. three a sticker yay we haven't had a sticker yet i don't think have we maybe Let's put that in. And the decoration. Two buttons. I can't have buttons because I had buttons yesterday. So I have to roll that again. It's gone off the thing. It was a four, which is Brad's, which I've already had. One. Charms. Finally. Finally got there. Charms. And the style. It can't be character. Five. Collage. <laughs> We've just done that. Never mind. I don't mind. See what I can do with that. There we go then. Did I put collage in? No, I did not. So that keeps the book straight, keeps us straight. Let's put the die away safely, put the red book away safely. And let's have a look at what we've got. A tummy tuck, yellow, music paper, sticker, charms, collage. Come on, we've had worse than that before, haven't we? Definitely. So let me bring in the these two, see what you think of them. And please, if you are following along, um, join our Facebook group, if, if you would. It's uh, scrolling across the top of the screen there now for you. It's Junk Journal and Mini Album Group. It's free. It's fun. <laughs> We're all there. All the cool kids are there. <laughs> and people that are doing this challenge with me are posting their results. And honestly, some of them are fabulous, but it's so nice to see absolutely all of them. And it's, you know, we all ooh and ah over everybody else's, and it's a really nice place to be. Um, of course, you don't have to to do that. I'm also on Instagram as Miss Paint a Lot, um, obviously YouTube where you're watching me. So catch me somewhere. <laughs> I'll see you again soon. Uh, in fact, tomorrow. Bye for now. Behave yourselves.